Fallen, Inspector. Four at least, Superintendent, including Trigger O'Flynn. Right. Give me the loud hand, will you? All right, O'Flynn. I'll give you just 15 seconds to come out. Now, you know me. One. Two. It's picking himself. What do we do, Three. Trigger? I'll handle this one personal. Silly, O'Flynn. This is it. Fifteen. All right, O'Flynn. I'm coming to get you. Take a gun, sir. It'll be all furly to Scotland Yard this morning to solve all this luck. No need to be sarcastic, Mr. Bassett. If you tried solving some crimes and instead of sitting about all day... Do you know who done this so old job, then? I am not at liberty to disclose police business to strangers, Mr. Bassett. <laughs> Don't let your tea get cold, dear. Don't worry, Dad. You'll be proud of me. I shall be head of Scotland Yard yet.
Got the cigarettes, Doc. In my handbag. Left arse shoot. Come along with me. What's the idea? Now I must warn you that anything you say will be taken down and used in evidence against you. Get this damn thing off me. What are you talking about? I saw you putting your hand in that lady's handbag. That happens to be my wife's handbag. Pardon? This lady is my wife. And that's her handbag. Oh, well, sorry. I mean, because that was. I didn't know. Unlock it. Get it off. I um, can't. Why not? Because, well, you know, I haven't got the keys. You haven't got... In any case, I've got to get off here. I'm not getting off here. You won't have to. I mustn't be late at the yard. Come Wait. on. Find the doors! to take over the flying squad today. Very well, sir. Pitkin. Yes, Mr. Burlington? The flying squad like their cars spotless. Yes, Mr. Burlington. And Pitkin. Yes, Mr. Burlington. Make sure that the wireless aerials are thoroughly clean. Yes, Mr. Burlington. Oh, Mr. Burlington! Oh, I've got one here. They've got to have clean aerials. So, so they don't get any dirty messages. And I... <laughs> what about that? Pickin. Yes, Mr. Burlington. We don't want any humorous quips either. Yes, Mr. Burlington. Well, get on with it then. Oh, Bolton. Do you seriously mean that you can take no action about this appalling list of crimes? Well, the fact is, sir, they all point to one man, but we can't actually pin anything on him. There are still one or two pieces missing from the jigsaw, sir. Yes? Oh, yes, of course. It's for you, sir. Not now, I'm in conference. It's the Home Secretary, sir. Commissioner speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Quite so. There are still one or two pieces missing from the jigsaw. We'll do everything we can. The Home Secretary is now getting impatient. Well, we can't make an arrest until we've got sufficient evidence, sir. This man you mentioned, Chief Superintendent, who is he? Uh, he's a lady's hairdresser, sir. Uh, that's right, sir. We think he's using his salon as a cover. His name is Giulio Napolitani. Sounds Italian. Yes, sir. You've got somebody watching his establishment? Yes, sir. Sergeant Wilkins should be making contact with him any moment now, sir. Yes, madam? My name is Wilkins. I have an appointment. Lucinda Wilkins? Yes. <laughs> Come this way, madam. Would you mind waiting here a moment, madam? No, not at all. Way, please. You seem awfully busy. I do hope I shall get Signor Giulio's personal attention. Oh, don't worry, madam. Signor Giulio can deal with as many as six heads at a time. So I see. <laughs> What is this sort of a person doing in my salon? I cannot make her beautiful. Madonna, ma cosa posso fare io? Ah, <laughs> lie the inch in a Ford. <laughs> Julio, darling, could I have a teeny weeny little French? Oh, what do you want a French for? You have the lovely face. French is for the ladies with a longer face, not a sweet face like this one. Summer face is like this one. Should have the fringe down here. Don't worry. Over on the prepare. Julia, here you could hide. <laughs> I do with this. You may proceed as you think fit, Julia. For you, I create a sweep here, a sweep there, bellissimo. See, it'll help you, brute, don't care my visto in big mia. Ah, oh, no, naughty, naughty. Translation, please. Sorry. It's a mean you are beautiful. Oh, flatterer. Oh, you, you don't believe me. Look for yourself. Oh. Well, I don't see what you mean. Perhaps beautiful isn't quite the right word. 
perhaps you're not. But the Julia O'Leary is our genius. Oberon, prepare. Julia O'Leary, I... I have only one pair of hands, Julio. Shut your mouth. to get it down at the business. Well, George, what do we find? Well, this one sounds the best bet, number five. Number five? The Countess of a Juice, Betty. Yeah. What are you wearing to Rigoletto tonight? But absolutely everything, my dear. Tiara, pendant, diamonds, the lot. Charles is taking them out of the safe deposit this afternoon. This could be what we've been waiting for. Tell the boys, uh, this afternoon. Where is the girl? In the office. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty good, huh? Her father said it is with her. You read it. Vatene. Carissimo Giulio, this is my daughter, Rosanna. The union of our two families will bring to an end much unnecessary bloodshed. The cement agreement that you will operate unmolested in London, leaving my organization to operate without interference in Sicily. It's signed Enrico Gardio. She's a good bargain. Better than I think. I'm very happy. Vatene, Vidico! You don't rock me, but your father is say you must marry me. Marry you? Piuttosto me ammazzarei. Siete un porco, un cane, una bestia feroce, che certo finirà in galera. I'd rather die! That can be arranged too. If you want, boss. No, 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 no. So no, no woman to know it. Julio, stick this bag and it's a good for a business. Take it upstairs. Mama, she tell her what a nice boy her Julio is. Piccolo verme. Don't worry, Julio. She really loves you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> she really loves me. Isn't my car ready, Pitkin? Oh, it won't be long, sir. I want it for lunch. Um, well, now I'll give you an indigestion, sir. <laughs> Try turning on the water. Oh, cool. 
No, 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 come back. Turn it on at the nozzle. Whoop! <laughs> Don't start locking them back. <laughs> You want to ask me before it ends? <laughs> you little... No, no, I'll never get your car down, Mr. McRoy! <laughs> right. Here! <laughs> done. One, two chamois leathers, one pail, one spoke brush, one cap, Pete, car park attendant for the use of. All correct. And now, Pitkin, get out. Pitkin. I'd like to ask your permission to have another shot at uh, joining the police force. Not here, you won't. Oh, now, look, if you're putting a good word for me, I know Pitkin. that I'll be... If you were six feet tall, weighed 20 stone, and were weightlifting champion of the world, I still wouldn't put in a good word for you. You're just not cut out to be a policeman. You haven't got it here, and you haven't got it here. I feel I'm letting my dad down, you see. Get out. You know, Mr. Bollington, you haven't got it here either. You can rest assured, Mr. Bollington, one of these days I should be a policeman. Just like my dad was. Thank you. 
I'd um, like to join the police, please, sir. Name? Um, Pickin. Haven't I seen your face somewhere before? Oh, sorry. Well, you're a fine tall specimen. Mm. Wait here a moment. I'll see if I can get your medical check. Oh, all right. You're lucky. Doctor was just going. This way. <coughs> Close the door. Good gracious. <laughs> well, come on over here. <clears throat> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's been a shocking old day again, hasn't it? Yeah, um, oh, yeah. Now then. <clears throat> Seven for one. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, that's my fault. You've still got your hat on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it. Any damage? No, no. It's all right. Oh. Six foot eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, over here. Well, now, read that chart. Z? Yeah. Uh, B? Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Uh, R? Yeah. Say that again. Uh, R. R. That saves time later, yeah? Go on, next line. Mm -hmm. D, O, H, uh, uh, um, P, J, W, E, W, H, N. Oh, no. Hello. Uh, D, W, Z. Yeah, well, never mind that T. for a minute. What? Come on. Well, you've got a very good ear. Oh. Have I? Yeah. Are you fond of music? Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. I like music, yeah. And I might be able to put you into the police choir. Oh, when? We all. I'm the choir master. We are not what the... <laughs> Now, don't go away. No. Now then, wait a minute. There we are. Now, see if you can read that. Go on. I think I can. Q, yeah. R, Z, uh, B flat. Ain't yeah. that true? L, um, B, uh, C sharp, G, G, B, B, C sharp, C sharp, and a D, D. D. Yeah. Oh, da 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 how do you like that tune? Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah? Well, it was a little thing I knocked off myself. Yeah. Yeah, well, I thought I'd heard it somewhere before. Come over here. Wait. Well, come on then. Wait. What is your wait? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Nine stone, twelve pounds, dead. How about a laugh? <laughs> oh, yeah. How's that? <laughs> come on, there. <laughs> <laughs> Now, take your jacket off, roll your sleeve up and sit down there. That's a good one. <laughs> Nine, seven, twelve. Dead. <laughs> yeah, hold that under there, will you, lad? That's a good chap. There we are. We'll soon get you fixed up. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the look of that. Yeah. 
It'll have to come up. <laughs> what, the arm? Yeah. No, 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 no. This. Oh, well. Next thing is to test your reflexes. <clears throat> That's the next item on the agenda, lad. <clears throat> now then, hold that up there like that. There we are. Feel that? Your elbow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> oh! Gotcha. <laughs> Cross your legs. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Relax. Bit of a limp, haven't you? I'm sorry, son. I shall have to turn down your application. I shall find it. Get away with it, Dad. Uh, why couldn't I be as big as you? American tourist, but I'm lost. Could you direct me to Grosvenor Square? Um, uh, Grosvenor Square? Um, well, could, uh, uh, you're, you'll have to get to the I Street first. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take you out there myself. Oh, that's very kind of you, officer. <laughs> Been to many interesting places. Oh, indeed I have. Now, let me see. There was uh, Westminster Abbey mm -hmm. and uh, Buckingham Palace, yes. but oh, <laughs> that bloody tower. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, with well, a very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Well, madam, any bus will do you now. 47, 23. Do you think you could call me a cab? Or perhaps you're not allowed to, officer? I wasn't speeding, Gov. Now watch it, that's all. Just watch it. Grosvenor Square, please. Thank you, officer. You London policemen are just wonderful. Standard, all the winners, Evening News is standard, all the winners, runners and riders. 
You been using standard? You been using standard? You're not allowed to play football in the streets. Now you know that, don't you? But there's nowhere else to play. I can't help that. You're not allowed to play here. But can't we just have one game of football, please, sir? Not here, you can't. But we haven't got anywhere else to play, sir. You'll have to find somewhere, won't you? But there isn't nowhere, sir. Isn't there? No, sir. Just a couple of kicks, then. Hey! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Now, now, break it up, boys! Break it up! Started to make a noise already. He started it. He kicked off before we was ready. So, will you be our referee? You got the whistle and everything. All right, well, just five minutes each way, then.
cars. Enough trouble already. Where did he go, sir? I don't know. What does he look like? I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. What do you mean, you don't know? You've seen him, haven't you? No, sir. Somebody must know what he looks like. Who gave the alarm? Who blew the whistle? I thought you blew the whistle. Not me. Well, who did? Was it you? Oh, no, sir. We were playing cards, sir. Nay, we were standing by in Estevision, sir. Who did? I was on duty at the sir.
I said we got our own whistle. Have you? Oh, oh no, don't blow it. No, don't. Ah! Ah! <laughs> My dad's. Tonight is for the lovings. You like this Rosanna, huh? Oh, sure thing. She have the curves in the right places. I don't think she's too sold on you. Oh, she fly out of the gate. She change her mind when I take her in my arms, give her a big kiss, and whisper in her ear, Darling, you look so pretty. So very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. Everything is he fixed for the job tonight. Don't worry, I'll have the old girl's jewels in your safe by nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Ah, Giulia, mio bambino! <laughs> oh, you are handsome tonight. Oh, mamma mia. I smell pretty good too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a scent factory. Shut your mouth. You would have spoke when you ought to speak on the two. Get out. You too, Mamma Mia. Here are the tickets for the Alberol. For the opera? No, no, no. For the wrestling, yes. Uh -huh. Is it good fun you like? Uh. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Ciao. It's good. At last we are together. Mia Christopher, son. Quanto è bella! <laughs> Your eyes are as blue as the Bay of Naples. Lasciatemi stare! <laughs> Your lips sono magnifici. Vieni, vieni! <laughs> Vorrei tornare in Italia! <laughs> Oh, you won't fly, eh? <laughs> Put your arms around me and show yourself. Donut! <laughs> Donut! <laughs> Let 
Let that be the last time you impersonate a police officer. Just a minute. Where are you taking that uniform? Home. That's Metropolitan Police property. That's my dad's. Go on, up it. And he just got out. I will never marry you. Never. Oh. Well, I haven't asked you to, have I? Oh. Oh. I am sorry. I... I think you are somebody else. Hey, you're foreign, aren't you? But you are not, Julio. No, no, no. I'm, I'm Norman. Um, what, Norman Pickin, that is. I'm, I'm, um, uh, I'm a policeman. A policeman? Mm. But your uniform, what is she? Oh, well, oh, well, um, well, you know, I, I haven't been, you know, what you might say, not properly accepted, not, not as yet. Of course, it's just, just a question of time, that's all I mean. That, well, they don't understand. Uh, what is your name? Rosanna. Yeah. And, and where do you live? I have nowhere to live now. Oh, well, oh, um, how would you like to come down to my place for the night, then? I? Uh, oh, no, I, I, just, I just want to get your clothes off. Hi. I, I, I mean, uh, to get them dry ones. Oh. Come in then. Grazie. Grazie. That's, that's thank you in foreign, isn't it? It's <laughs> nice. <laughs> What are you doing here? Mr. Pitkin, he brought me home with him last night. Oh, did he? Oh, no, no, you don't understand. Mr. Pitkin saved my life. Did he 
Really? Oh, yes, he was so brave. Thank you. He dived into the river. I was drowned. Drowning. And he rescued me from drown. Just like Mr. Pitkin. Where is he now? Sergeant Wilkins to see you, sir. Tell us to come in. Well, Sergeant Wilkins? I proceeded to Maison Julio, where, after a preliminary examination, he styled and cut my hair in a modern manner. Yes, yes. Go on. I observed that there were microphones hidden under all the tables and wash basins. I then exposed a movie film of the actions and behaviour of the said suspect, Giulio Napolitani. And I have here some still photographs enlarged from the film. Thank you. So this is Giulio Napolitani. No, no, no. Who's it remind you of? Who's it like? Who's the little fool in the car park? Washes the cars down. Pitkin, sir. Look, we agreed we have to plant someone in Napolitani's place in order to get the evidence we need. Right, Hobson? Yes, sir. Don't you? Yes, sir. Well, there's your man. Take away the moustache, cover the hair, and who have you got? Pitkin. Pitkin? Oh, but, sir, that had been madness. Forgive me, gentlemen. I was carried away. Just for a moment, I thought... Sir, just a glass of water, please. Yes, sir. Yes? Home Secretary, sir. Yes, son. Yes, son. We think we have a plan, son. There's no other way. Get Pitkin. Inspector, I hear you're not going to the yard today. Got the sack? Well, you're as important as Mr. Pitkin, Mr. Bassett. You'll be able to take a day off. Good afternoon. I would like to talk to Mr. Pitkin. Who shall I see as inquiring? Superintendent Hobson, Scotland Yard. Oh, oh, oh yes. Okay, yes, he's right here. Hello, Pitkin. Hello, Super. Ah, I should like a few words with you. Do you mind? This is private police matter. Oh, no. Of course not. Allow me. No, man. Thank you. So you see, Pitkin, although technically you will still be a car park attendant, in actual fact, you will be doing a job of national importance. Yeah, but I've got the sack, haven't I? But that's not a job. Now, what's your answer? Mr. Hobson, if I'm going to do a police job, I want to be in the police. That's out of the question! Now, pick. Sir Ronald Aykroyd has personally authorised me to offer you a raise of half a crown a week. Half a crown? Money isn't everything. It's either the police or nothing. So there it is. Hobson's choice, isn't it? Or rather, Mr. Hobson's choice. 
You're too small. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh. Oh, well, in that case, I see no point in discussing the matter any further. Good afternoon, Superintendent. Now, wait a minute, Pickett. Let's Good be... Good afternoon, Superintendent. <sighs> Madam, my phone's got in the yard. Oh, but of course. The number is Whitehall 1212. I'm aware of that, Madam. Just on being a member of the Forcer. Uh, we've explained that it's impossible, sir. They're right, Pipkin. I'm sorry. In that case, I am not interested in returning to Scotland Yard. Not unless I'm a proper policeman, like my dad was. Yes. Splendid looking fellow. Of course. Taller than you. He was older than me. Now, I hope you're not annoyed because I sacked you yesterday, Pipkin. Well. Oh, I was a bit, because you was messing about just as much as I was now, wasn't you? Truth? Truth? All right, Pitkin, uh, perhaps I was. Now, let's discuss this matter as friends. <laughs> Drop a tea? No, thank you. What's your first name, old chap? Um... Norman? Well, then, Norman. Isn't it reward enough to bring a desperate criminal to justice? Oh, no, wait a minute, Ron. No, no, no. Let's be fair. Now, let's be fair. I'm not going to do it, not unless I am in the police. Not what you might call or common refer to as being really actually in. All right, Pitkin. If you insist. But the regulations, sir. We'll have to change them. He's the key to this operation. Now, does that satisfy you, Norman? What they've been the key? Ron. Oh, does that uh, satisfy me? <laughs> oh, Mr. Hobson, now we're all as one, haven't we? Hey, what's your first name? Cecil. Bert. Oh, oh, oh Cecil, this is it! <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I'm just going to pop upstairs. Belcher, <laughs> you could have had me over then. You <laughs> Oh, thank heavens we haven't split up. Oh, what a team, eh? Ron, Cess, Bert, and now Norm. The four just men. <laughs> in case you think I've taken leave of my senses, Pitkin remains in the force only until the job is done. Meantime, we must accept him and train him for special duties. When you say we, sir, you actually mean we. Yes. We. Rosanna! Come in. <laughs> Rosanna, it's happened, it's happened. They've taken me. I'm just going to get sworn in. You have to swear? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
You don't understand it. I am going to be a policeman. Aren't you pleased? Si, si, Norman. Complimenti. You going out, Rosanna? Si. And I not come back. Did I do something wrong? No. <laughs> no, no. You never do anybody wrong. Only right you do. But you're too good to me and I must go. Well, there must be a reason. But... Oh. Do you want to go? Oh, no. You have to pay for me here. Oh, well, I, I don't mind. But I am not your, do I, you say? Responsibilita. It's not fair I should stay here longer. But this is the first time in my life that I've ever... I like being responsible for you. You are so sweet. You make I should want to cry. Then you will stay? See, I stay. <laughs> well, that's settled then. Oh, you wait till you see me in my uniform. <laughs> We go. Let's pick her up. Presto. Do you want me? Here, I have found a smashing uniform. It's got everything. Just wants a bit of pressing. So nice. kind of you to grace us with your presence, Pickin. Yes, we do want you. There's a film we want you to see. Sit down. Pictures? We're not going to see a picture, are we? God, this is the life of it. And you, you waited for me before you started the program. Oh, now I know I'm one of you. I won't forget this. I won't forget it. Oh. All right, here we go, then. Hello. Spring's going on this one. Pick it. You're on my hand. and we are getting a little pressed for time. Yes, I think we should start, don't you, sir? Good idea. Lights! Pickin, not busted. What, what, that's not it, is it? Not that it. is it. What, every and that's same... what you have to copy. What do you mean? Well, you saw the way the man walked on the screen. Now let's see you do that. Uh, uh, me? What? Ah! Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He mean it? Of course. That is, if you really want to stay in the police. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say, um... I can't stand much more of this, Hobson. We've no alternative, sir. Now, pick it! Can I see a bit more of the picture, Mr. Robson? I feel I'll be able to master it. Eh? Roll them. Lights! 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 Pick it. Lights!
You put the lights out before I was ready, and I finished up out there. To avoid confusion, perhaps it would be better for all concerned if only one of us gave the orders. Roll. One little thing right. All I've got, you'll get. All I've got. Yeah. Well, watch me carefully. Oh, yes. I'll show you. Please. As you put your foot forward, yeah. you let your weight rest onto it so that your hip swings outwards. Oh, yeah, yeah. You then change feet. That is to say, you tread on the other one, transferring the weight in exactly the same manner. Now, this you continue to do alternately. Now, having once mastered the movement of our hips and our feet, we bring our artistic hands into play. There we are. Now you do it. Uh, just one moment, Hobson. Uh, Constable, fetch a couple of books, will you, please? Very good idea, sir. Shoulder high. Watch your feet. Oh. We're here, Lady Chatterley. On your head. Did she leave any message? No. You liked her, didn't you, Mr. Pitkin? Yes. Because she was... She was too pretty for me. Never mind, Mr. Pitkin. With all your police work, you'll have plenty to occupy your mind. Two more robberies last night, sir. I'm afraid they both point to the same gang. The Napolitani mob? Yes, sir. How's Pitkin's training coming along? What you might call slowly, sir. Very slowly. Uh, it can't be helped. We can't delay any longer. Bring Napolitani in for questioning. 
Hello, Miss Wilkins. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, you're welcome. Please sit down. Two gentlemen from the police to see you, Signor. La Polizia. Grazie. Are you Giulio Napolitani? Well, sure thing. Everyone is to know Giulio Napolitani. Would you mind coming with us to Scotland Yard? What for you want me? Nothing to worry about, sir. Just a routine matter. <laughs> okay. This is a for my lawyer. Over on a prepare, Giulio, he create. They brought Napolitani in. Very nice here, Hobson. It's in the bag, Your Honor. Now, you know what you have to do, Pickett. There mustn't be any slip-up. Having gained entry to the premises of one Giulio Matolapani, I must ascertain what use he makes of the microphones and if he's got any stolen property concealed in the buildings. Yeah? Quite right, Pitkin. And don't forget, we can't hold Napolitani for long. Oh, of course not. In fact, you've got exactly 40 minutes. <laughs> Uh, well, here we go then. So, all right, Ron, don't let me down. Tell us, I think it's going to work. Yes, sir. Do you, you I told him, Mrs. I, I, I don't know. I said it was hard. I went to you. I told you. I've been like this for hours. It's been sharp. Oh, Julio. 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 Turn that compromise. I've only got to do one pair of hands. Marvellous. Right now then, who's the first? <laughs> oh, I've been in such a tease. Where have you been? <gasps> What's happened to Sir Style? That's more like, sir. <laughs> Signor... <laughs> Mrs. Ashby, Signor Giulio, madam. About time, too. Uh, first, uh, the Vosh. I've had it washed once. Your, your era is no good. It's gone grey. <laughs> <laughs> so would yours have if you'd waited as long as I have. Uh, Obron, uh, give it a bit of a wash. Uh, uh, Giulio, he... He, he creates. Julio. 
How did you know? It's me. Mm. Rick. Look. Oh, oh, Sergeant Wilkins. There's a microphone under the table. What do you say? There's a mic. Switch on the drive and won't be able to hear us. The word the dryer. Oh. <laughs> Something. I found something. There's a microphone hidden underneath the table. I know. Did you think anyone heard what we've been talking about? Sing. Sing. Oh, sweet home, coming through the rye. Oh, the maestro is in great form today. We've been watched. Are we? Do something to my hair. What should I do? Anything. Pumpkin! For heaven's sake, go away. <laughs> You made me look so lovely. <laughs> but you are lovely. Yes, I know. I like all my ladies to look lovely. But I'm rather special, aren't I? <laughs> you made me feel so happy. <laughs> I'm happy too. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> but don't cut off any more of my hair. Well, come over here. I tell you, you've got to do something. I'll give you a shampoo. I've had a shampoo. I didn't mean that. Have a shave. Pitkin. You've got to find out where those microphones lead to. How do I do that? Trace the wires. Follow them through to the very end. Sergeant Wilkins, I should trace those wires if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> Suspicion. <laughs> He's 
an outrage. I demand that you release my client immediately. I have here the habeas corpus. Now, gentlemen, keep calm. Why don't we sit down and talk this over quietly? No sit down. No sit down. No talk. Uh, no talk. No stay here. No stay here. Release her. Release us. Scotland Yard, we will sue. Scotland Yard, we will sue. Now shut your mouth. Now shut your mouth. 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 Is there anything wrong, Julio? Someone standing on the wire. I'm having trouble with the girl. Yeah? Uh, the girl? She's breaking the place up. Oh? You better come. Uh, you lead her the wire. What's the matter? Aren't you coming? some evidence against Julio Napolitani. We haven't got much time. Where's the safe? No, we are not safe. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? The safe! I've had to let Napolitani go, so he's on his way back to the salon. Well, this is serious. It's not giving Pitkin time enough. We'll have to raid the premises. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Thank you for a nod. Norman! Norman! No, not now. I'm looking for something. Is this what you are looking for? No, I want the safe. Oh. Uh, Julio! Julio! You're upstairs. No. No. I'm down the stairs. Upstairs is... All right. Presto, presto. Dobbiamo partire. Well, this is one of those jobs where you've got to hurry up and keep calm at the same time. I can't understand it. I, I thought it would be easy. I thought it would just be click, 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 and then clack, clack, and then all of a sudden, open sesame. <laughs> all you have to know is the combinations. I know that. How to get the combination, that's the thing, isn't it? Uh, what you can have? You look like me, but not so handsome. Who are you? I am Police Constable Pitkin of Scotland Yard, and I warn you that anything you say will be taken down and used in evidence. Shut your mouth! I kill you. I smash you. I slit your throat from ear to ear. I feel it's only fair to warn you that to slit a policeman's throat from ear to ear Definitely illegal. Shall I kill him now, boss? No, not yet. Okay, the police want a Julio, they get a Julio. But not a this one. All right, I kill him, but not here. What about the girl? No, no, all right, no, I'll give in. Leave her alone. I'll go. Please. No, no, Norman. Julio, you can't do this. He only do his job. Please don't kill him. 
All right, all right. The Vince, I'm seen it. Take him for a nice ride into the country in my car. No monkey business, otherwise I missed the pick in a bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> You're under arrest. No, Ron. You're making a mistake. I'm Norman. See? You fool! Palatari must still be in the salon. Go! On. Ron! No, Ron! No, I couldn't help it! No. Cover the door. Don't let him in. Yes, sir. All right, nobody leave the premises. What do you want? You're under arrest. Oh, oh, superintendent. Not now, madam. Hobson! Julio Napolitano, you're under arrest. Oh, Ron, how many more times? Look, it's me, Norman. I told you to keep out of here. Hobson! Get this man up! Julia Napolitano, you're under arrest! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Hobson. This is Pitkins! Siete pazzi, voi inglese! Non vedete che questo è Giulio! Constable, look after this young lady, will you? No, non capite! Questo è il vero Giulio, non è Norman! Napolitano! Giulio Napolitano! Pitkin? Ah. Julio Napolitani, you're under arrest. Back it up, Cecil! Ron, you're wrong, Ron. Wrong again, Ron. Wrong, 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 Ron! Julio Napolitani. <laughs> As I thought, Julio, on behalf of Ron Aykroyd, Cecil Hobson, um, the Burt Belcher, and indeed all the lot of us I hereby place you under arrest. <laughs> Well, damaging one of Her Majesty's police constables' hats, and it's not mine either. Oh, Ron will be pleased. We've got the whole place surrounded, sir, so we know Napolitani must still be somewhere in the building. I know that, Belcher, but where? Hobson, that man again. <laughs> Pick him, what have you got in there? Wash in. Hey, Ron. Put him under arrest. Oh, poor no. 
Pitkin. No, Ron, that is Julio. I am Pitkin. I know. Have him taken away. No, no, no. The prisoner. Well done, Constable Pitkin. Did you say Constable? You mean I'm still in the force, then? You're a credit to the force. Oh, Ron, Ron! <laughs> now you've got everything you ever wanted, haven't you? Yeah, well, well, uh, well, there's one little thing. Well, what's that? Um, well, I want to have some leave. <laughs> leave? What for? Um, well... I want to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me! 